What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are still working on the car. I got a few other things I want to get done to it. One being tint the tail lights. And I don't mean the stuff in the spray can. That stuff is terrible. You will be very disappointed if you use that. I'm going to show you the best way to get a professional looking tinted tail light that you can actually see brake lights through. It looks good and lasts a long time. So let's get to it. Working on the Jetta today so let's get these tail lights pulled off and I'll show you exactly how to prep them and how we're gonna tint them so the first thing we got to do is get these cleaned up and sanded so I'm gonna be hitting them with scotch bright and Dawn dish soap and then we're gonna hit it with a thousand grit sandpaper get them all scuffed up and then we can dry them off and get them ready for paint boys next step we got to clean them again i use windex on plastic stuff you really don't need something strong like wax and grease remover windex does a great job and then we're gonna do just one coat of this adhesion promoter and then we can mix up some paint and spray these things out All right, boys, this is what I'm using for paint. So you want just to get your clear coat. You're gonna mix your clear like you always would. And then I just got this little bit of black base coat. And you're gonna mix that one-to-one -one with reducer like you typically would. And then you're just gonna mix the black into the clear. And I'll show you kind of what you would wanna look for when you're mixing. You don't wanna to go too much because it's going to be way too dark and you'll probably get one coat on it and be pretty dark. So we can always add more black to the clear if the first coat looks like it's way too light. But we're going to shoot for like two or three coats and save a little bit of clear in a different container. And when you get the tail lights as dark as you want them, then you'll empty out the gun, put in some straight clear in, and then throw one more coat of straight clear coat over the top. And that'll make them look really nice. got this mixed up so you kind of want it to be when you pull it up it's not completely black it's still transparent so in the cup obviously it's gonna look black but when you uh, when you kind of string it out and let it drip it looks transparent still
we got uh, three coats on there now, looking good. And I know it looks dark right here, but when I brought one outside and it's still pretty see-through. So now I'm just gonna get straight clear and do one more coat on top of that. And we should be good. guys lights are done looking pretty good I got a couple of little fish eyes something must have landed on the light and uh, caused it to kind of fish eye out but nonetheless looks pretty good so you can see they look pretty dark in the shop but as soon as you get them outside get them out in the Sun you can kind of see you see through it a little bit so we'll get them on the car and uh, get the lights on and make sure we can see the bulbs through the tint guys tail lights are on makes this back end flow a lot better instead of having those big red lights so let's fire these up and see how the light comes through it all right guys there it is light still comes through that tint pretty good obviously not as bright as no tint but still very visible there it is guys the best way to tint your tail lights now this stuff is gonna last way longer, it looks way better, and the light actually comes through it a lot better than like that spray can stuff I've used in the past. It is terrible. It fades really fast and it doesn't let a lot of the light through. So if you're gonna tint your tail lights, do it right with actual paint and clear coat and you'll be glad you did. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.